Welcome to Caldwell County Today. I'm Paige Counts, Public Information Officer for Caldwell County. Joining me today is Rick Shuve, who is Associate Dean for Business and Career Services at Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> that is a mouthful. Well, how are you doing, Paige? I'm doing great, and I'm excited to have you here. Thank you, you are here to talk about an important event that happens typically a couple times a year here in Caldwell County. I am, and as we were saying, it's almost 10 years now that we started Caldwell's Hiring here in Caldwell County. It has uh, been a very successful ride so far. It has been, and just kind of give us an overview of what Caldwell is hiring is. Well, this year it is, uh, it's going to be held on March the 23rd. And as many people may know that have come out, it is a hiring event right here for our county. Uh, we have anywhere from 40 to 50 employers there uh, with a lot of jobs. And it's a great time to come and just kind of see what's available here in Caldwell County and uh, even on the outskirts of Caldwell County. There's some companies that come in. Uh, and um, go from there. I mean, you know, everybody's looking to better themselves, and so this is a great time to just to see what's out there. And you've got a whole spreadsheet in front of you I with do. companies. Can you just highlight a few? I know you should never pick out a few, but just to give <laughs> our viewers some idea of who will be there. Well, when you when you go to look, and I'm, I'm sitting here looking at all the companies that have already committed, and right now we've had, uh, we're still a month away, and we've had 36 companies, and so that's how excited they are. Uh, to be here, but we have everything from construction to manufacturing to healthcare to to you name it. We have it in front of us, and we have companies like Excella, you know, which is probably one of our fastest growing industries here in, in Caldwell County. Uh, the biopharma industry, uh, with uh, all of our biopharma companies, are growing, and so they're there looking for people. And these are great jobs. These are not jobs that uh, you're not going to. Uh, put bread on the table, as you used to say. <laughs> These are jobs that you can really earn a, a great living and uh, a great future. Uh, and so, you know, that's just one. We've got furniture. You know, furniture's still alive and well here in mm -hmm. Caldwell County. And so we have our furniture represented with Fairfield Chair and uh, Bernhardt's and others that are planning to be there. Fleet Genius is another one uh, that is really growing. Uh, that used to be Baker's Waste. Uh, and they've came in and they are really expanding right now their outreach and their operation. And so um, they're there as well looking for welders. Well, actually during COVID, I learned of a lot of companies that I didn't even know existed yeah. in Caldwell County. So I imagine when people come, they're going to find companies that they're like, I had no idea this was here. Right. Well, you know, and I, I hear that all the time. I, I get the privilege about working with these companies and seeing every day what they make. But, you know, the average person does not, and they don't realize just how much is being manufactured and shipped all over the world right here in Caldwell County. Uh, and so we do have some great companies, uh, very diversified, everything from uh, making automotive parts to, to plastic front ends for uh, golf carts. I mean, it's, it's all being made right here in Caldwell County. And let's, let's not forget about the bubble wrap that goes all over the world. Yes. You know, that's, uh, that's right here as well. But then when you got pharmaceuticals and you got like Stallard and Greer, who also was planned to be there, who is sending allergen medicine all over the world. I mean, it's a, it's a worldwide company, international company, and the largest in allergen medicine. So uh, you just don't think about what's right here and the opportunities that we have to live in a county that has this many opportunities and jobs. While we think about all the things that will be going on that day, you have something new this year. We do have something new. Just because uh, the, our, we have such a diverse line of jobs that's out here that require uh, a lot of different skills, uh, a lot of times it may require just a little bit of education. Uh, we are going to have an educational fair going on at the same time. And so it would be a great time for you to come and also talk to our, our program directors, our deans, uh, talked about, talked to our mission people about what it is and what it would look like for you to come back to school. Uh, you know, and that's, that's the thing right now, a lot of people, when they think about Caldwell Community College, even they think about a two-year commitment or a two-year program, but that's not the case. You know, there's a lot of jobs that's out there that only requires a short amount of training mm -hmm. uh, to, to get skills that you need to go in and to do these jobs. And these are, again, are well-paying jobs. So, you know, come learn about those opportunities. It might be that you can come and 
uh, go to school and work at the same time for maybe a few weeks and uh, before you, you go on full time in, in those locations. Or it might be that the companies will work with you. You know, apprenticeships is a big thing right now, mm -hmm. too. And so we'll have some information about that as well. Uh, Fleet Genius is one of them that uh, is really working on a, an apprenticeship model right now with Weldon. Uh, and they will allow you to go to school and work at the same time. Wow. Um, and one thing I'm going to just throw in there is don't be afraid to go back to school. No, no. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm one that I did not go to, to, to college right out of high school. Uh, I went myself a little bit later. I went to Caldwell mm -hmm. for an associate degree. Uh, but I found out then that it wasn't as hard as it was in high school. I don't know <laughs> what that means, but uh, but I've been fortunate. And later on in life, I have gone on now and, and completed all the way to a master's. Congratulations. And that's just for just a few years ago. So uh, you're never too old or too young to go back and, and receive the education. But there's something about that. Something's a little different about it, you know. When it's when it's your passion and when it's something that you you know that you need, it makes things a lot easier. Adult learners are totally different than those who come straight out of high school, oh, yeah. and, and it's different in a very good way. It is, it is. But it's a, you know yeah, I, I encourage people all the time, and, and what most people find if they get started, they find the same mm -hmm. thing. They find that they uh, really enjoy it. Uh, so. When you're there, visit the job fair upstairs and the educational fair. Right, right. Uh, you know, we're trying to, to make it to where, you know, people can do a one-stop. You know, they can come and you can come talk to both and, or talk to an employer upstairs and maybe they'll tell you what you might need mm -hmm. to get that job that you want. And you can go downstairs and talk to them about, you know, what, what's the steps to get that. Let's talk about preparing yourself for the uh, <laughs> hiring fair. Yeah, it never fails. Every year we have people show up in their pajamas and bedroom slippers and, and uh, clothes that I, that probably is not very appropriate. For, for I always tell people, you know, um, you know, to come prepared for an interview. If you're going to a job interview, uh, come prepared just like you, because this is what this is. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there's going to be a lot of on-site interviewing happening, and first impressions make a big difference. And so. Uh, when you approach that uh, employer, you know, you, you approach them, look them in the eye, you dress as you're there for an interview, uh, and that's going to go a long ways in that first impression. Um, as I was, I was telling you before, I had someone tell me that you, you come dressed like you're going to church and dressed like you're going to meet your pastor. So <laughs> that kind of covers it. But uh, kind of covers it. <laughs> Put on your best. Put on your best. Uh, and, and also have your resume. A lot of people, um, you may not have a resume prepared. You know, we do have services and resources right here in Caldwell County to help you with that. Uh, we have the Career Connections on the college campus. You can come by. Uh, you don't have to be a student to come by, and we can help you uh, prepare a resume and help you with uh, even some mock interviewing to get you prepared to, to actually how to, to talk about the skill sets you have. These services are also available at NC Works right here in Coldwell County, and they are one of our partners. So, you know, uh, either place, come and, and get your resume prepared and, and get prepared to come and, and meet these. And folks have time now. They do. We're, we're letting them know a little bit early, so you have time to go and get your resume polished. They do. They do. It, uh, it seems early, but uh, it's never too early to start preparing. Because, uh, again, when you're talking about uh, coming to meet with these companies, and, and, and you can go on to uh, our Caldwell's Hiring Facebook page, and you can see a lot all the companies that are planning to come. And so maybe you see one there that, that uh, you want to pursue. You know, do your research. Find out a little bit about that company. Find out a little bit about what they do and the background and kind of the culture. Uh, all that helps when you're sitting there talking to those companies. Those different employers uh, as somebody who sent in on a lot of interviews as both the <laughs> interviewer and the interviewee I can say that anything you can do to set yourself apart right. yes I any little thing because it really may come down to that between you and another candidate right you're exactly right and, and they are looking at everybody that's coming and so you've got to make yourself stand out in a good way. In a good way, <laughs> yes. Because they're going to remember the bad. Right. All right. Yes. 
About how many resumes should a person bring with them? You know, it, it depends on how many companies you're going to talk with. Um, you know, I would bring at least five to ten. Uh, not every employer is going to ask for it. You can always present it to them. Um, they do have applications and stuff as well, but I would have at least five to ten with you um, to, to talk with those companies with. And I will say, just from my experience, having your resume can help you if they also want the application filled out. You've got the dates and everything right on your resume, right, so you're exactly. not trying to exactly. uh, remember. We will have computers on site, so a, a lot of applications anymore are online. And so we will have computers set up on site for you to go in, and we'll have people there helping you work through that process as well. Lots of opportunities. Rick, if somebody, you still have a few, I mean, very few, but there's a handful of slots left for employers. Mm -hmm. How can an employer get if, involved? If an employer would like to come, they can do that in a couple ways. They, you can reach out to me directly uh, at the college, uh, or you can go on to our college website, uh, and we have a, a page added there. Uh, so it's www.cccti.edu forward slash hiring. Uh, and there is a link there that you can go on and do an online registration at that moment. And right now, again, we have a few open spots left. Uh, we're going to try to cram as many in there as we can. Uh, we do have a kind of a limit, but there's always a, a little wiggle room. And uh, But we are going to try to accommodate every employer that we can get there uh, because we feel like it's that important. And we, we you, know, you know, I get the privilege of working with these companies and I know the struggles that they have. And so it just makes it easier for them, too, if they can come to one spot and see several people. Yes. You know. And for participants, when, where, what time? Okay, the the event's going to take place on March the 23rd at the J.E. Rawhill Civic Center. <clears throat> and it will be taking place from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, so I would suggest, you know, pick a time there, give you a little bit of time to be able to, to walk around and talk. Uh, towards the end, people begin shutting down a little bit. So don't show up right at 12 and expect to see a lot of uh, employers. I would come as early as I can. I would say get in there early <laughs> because three hours of talking to folks, Yeah. Uh, the employers are going to get a little, may get a little overwhelmed. They may they not. Do. They may not have found the right person. They so. do sometimes. So, yeah, I would, I would suggest coming as early as you can. But... Uh, uh, don't let it stop you if, it's, if it has to be a little later. If it has to be, certainly. Rick, what else? If, what have we forgotten to cover? Uh, I don't, there's so much, and so much, uh, you know, this is an exciting event, and uh, I always look forward to it. Uh, I always walk away and hear success stories, uh, and I hear stories later about people who have landed those jobs that they've wanted for, for a while. Um, so, yeah, I would say take advantage of it. And, and let's just throw it out there, too. Maybe maybe you're just getting out of high school or you're in high school. You know, this is a great time to come and practice, if nothing else, just to kind of get in front of those employers and, and learn what they have, um, look for those summer jobs. Uh, take advantage uh, of this time. We want you to stay here in Caldwell County, so it's a good time just to come and, and see what, what Caldwell County is all about. I mean, as we said earlier, a lot of people don't even know what right. what is available here. And this would be a good time to get that overview. Right, exactly. So if you're a high school student or maybe even a college student who, exactly. who's looking for a job, this is a great opportunity to get out and make connections. And as stated before, I mean, pretty much every sector is going to be here. I mean, everything from retail to manufacturing to, to health care to... Uh, the construction trades, I mean, they're, they're going to be represented here uh, looking for people. Okay. Rick, there's a lot of great opportunities, and I'm excited for March 23rd and all the people who are going to be hired. I am, too. I am, too. It's always, I can say, a good event with great success. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching Caldwell County Today.